Okay, so... Oh, did you request 1992-4? I think I might have missed it. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm not doing a 3D Geo prompt today. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not feeling it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is replace uh, X with another X, because the problem is actually, like, just asking for it. I, I'm not going to pass it up. Um, so... Um, so if I, so we start with 1 over 1, 1 over 2, etc. When we do this, so that's, what are the new operations? The second thing is replace A, B with A minus B. And the other thing is replace uh, A, B with 2 max, 2 min, A, B. And this time I want to maximize number on board. Can I break one? Yeah, um, so there's no, is there a reason I ever want to do this? The A minus B? Like, this just seems like it, I never want to do it. Like, it makes the numbers smaller, right? Like, I, I just don't want to do this. This, like, might make the numbers bigger, but... Well, okay, let's see what I can do with just the two, with just doubling. So... You're misunderstanding the problem. Uh, what did I miss? A minus B. Oh, oh, it's replace it. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, replace A B with A minus B. Oh, so there's even fewer choices than I thought. No, it's still... Oh, actually, yeah, it's not a finite problem. Okay. Uh, so, what happens? Oh, no. The category is still Hollow Knight? Oh, yeah, thanks. I forgot the rerun is... Alright, so what, what do I do? So, what happens if I just two numbers on the board? If they're one and one half, then it's stable. It's actually stable, right? If it's always one and one half. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, the sum is... <laughs> Thanks, that helps. The sum is constant. Uh... Wow, that makes life a lot easier. Uh, that looks like a serious problem, but also it got cut off. Uh... So, I don't know what to tell you. Gilbreth shuffle is actually really easy? Okay. Anyways, thanks for ever pointing out some is constant. Yeah, that, that makes things a lot better. So, that means, uh, number on board never exceeds... Yeah. 
Can I get redeemed? Uh, oh, you want them back? Yeah, sure. So, thumb is constant, and what happens to the difference? If I have, I don't know. I feel like the choice of the numbers on the board that to start probably doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna like pick three random numbers and see what happens if I keep doing this. Here's three numbers. Uh, well, one three stabilizes at two two. What happens if we just two numbers? If I have one three becomes 2-2 two, two and stable. If I have like 1-7, it's like becomes 2-6, becomes 4-4 four, four and stable. So does it approach... Okay, what happens if I do 1-5? Becomes 2... Becomes 2-4, becomes... And it escalates. Oh, Jesus, what is this? <sighs> I'm afraid to try 1 6 because it's. Uh, whatever, let's try 1 6. 1 6 becomes 2 5 becomes. Uh, 3 4. Becomes. 6 1 Wait, oh wow <sighs> Yeah, I want to get close to the sum, but I don't like these cases show that's like just not what happens Uh, That's unfortunate well, it's it, it's a finite problem because um, into like for example, if my starting numbers are integers, then all the numbers will always be integers. Similarly, here, um, I mean they're not integers, but they're rational numbers with denominator dividing uh, the LCM, which is one hundred twenty. No, just sixty, just sixty. So, like. Hmm. Oh my god. So, I actually don't know what the answer is. Um, like, oh, Jesus frick. Yeah, this two number behavior, at least they have the integer thing, right? So. I really hope the answer is like. Can, if I can get them to be 1 over 60 ish. Yeah, so scale up so that it's 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. And we'll. I th it looks like the choice of numbers is actually pretty important because like even with two numbers the behavior is kind of strange so There's a mute me request. I'm not even seeing new requests. Oh, no um. Who is it? Are you noob noob? Alright, redeemed. I 
Okay, so... man. <sighs> when will your SEMO results be out? So... The grading is scheduled to take like... Two or three weeks. Shout out to Evan Chen for still streaming today. Oh, thank you. Thanks to MatPad for... Support. <sighs> Alright, so... Two, we'll replace it with two and twenty. But I have to pick distinct numbers, right? So I can't kill the twenties. This looks pretty bad. If I accidentally make the numbers all even, no, that can't happen, right? Because the sum is odd. But the even numbers seem like they're largely going to stay even. Um, if I have one odd number... So this is the only odd guy. Um, I I cannot generate more odd numbers, right? Is that right? I don't think I can generate more odd numbers. Um, But if I take two even numbers, I still have two even numbers. If I take at least one odd number, I get at most one odd number. So there's always at le at most one odd number. Can I get five ones? No, I think I can get at most one one. I think I have at most one odd number, period. Because of this factor of two. Well, if I take in two even numbers, I get out two even numbers. If I take in any number of odd numbers, um, I get... If I get odd even, I get odd even. If I get odd odd, I get even even. So there's always... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, well... Alright. Okay, let, let's kill, let's get the 5, though. Um, let's, let's see what happens if I get the 5. So, 5 to 30. Is that right? And then we can goof around with the stuff at the bottom. And get 4, 1. Err, er, 4, 3. And now we have seven, six one, six one. I'm also worried about multiples of three. Is there also a mod three condition? Uh, so when I I wanna if I wanna make there fewer multiples of three, I really feel like the GCD stuff is not going well. It's it should be okay. I want to smash the six into the twenty, right? I I think I want to smash the six into the twenty. Okay, and that gives me the first two. So two, 24. Oh crap, they're all divisible by six. Oh no. Uh. If you get to... Yeah, I got the 1 and 2, but now I have stuff... Oh, freaking... Dang it. So this is probably a dead end, actually. I don't know if I want to go here. Or I can keep using the 2. Or I can... I can... Try to get rid of more factors of things by making, like, 428. And then four comma forty eight. What am I trying to do here? I feel like I should be thinking more carefully about what to do with Evan. What happened with your computer today? It's a long story. Uh, well, basically. So Linux five point nine is not compatible with the modern version of the NVIDIA driver. In addition, uh, my OBS studio was out of date. So I think I got hit by two different independent issues, and then because of that, I got really confused trying to fix it. Um, but yeah, so it's it's a it was a struggle. <laughs> yeah. All right.
I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the 60 now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like try to see if I can manage to Alright. If I'm ignoring the one, I can get at most one too. Oh, that sounds true. Yeah, that's tr that that is an issue actually. Oh frick. I can get at one twenty from where I am now. I think. Let's see, so where am I? I'm 144, 24, 18, 96. How do I get the 120? Um, do like 12, 36. How do we know there is a minimum? So, I mean, we're at a situation where we're in a situation where like um, the numbers are always integers. So there's finitely many states, and so therefore we're always in this. Well, you know, there's only finitely many places we can reach, and we just want to get like some decent bound. Okay, uh, twelve thirty six. How do we get twelve thirty six? The twenty four and eighteen. Do those. What if I do... Okay, uh, do 2418. Then 3696, okay. I get 3672 though, I think. No. What? Hang on. Ah! Ah! Yeah. I'm very confused. Uh. Thank. Oh no. Uh. How many of them are there? I don't understand. Can you ever get more than one 2 mod 4 number, um, even if I use the one? So are you saying that I have like some obstruction mod 4 period? So if I have one and two mod 4, I end up with one and two mod 4. If I have one and zero mod 4, I end up with... If I have odd and zero mod 4, I end up with... Odd and two. Why is if we start with one three, don't we get three halves, three halves? This is after the transformation. Like I did a transformation where instead of looking at the numbers, I'm looking at the reciprocals. Uh 
Oh, yeah, there's there's some. It's like it's an integer issue, and then there's constraints. Oh no. Okay, okay. I have a single two mod for a number. If I even if I use it, I get a two and an odd. Like I mean, I can do like two three here, right? I can two three. And then I have some two mod four numbers, and then one, six. Is X plus G of X help? Um, not that I really know of. But I still keep running into this divisible by six thing. Like I really want the numbers to not be divisible by six. This is so annoying. <laughs> what are my constraints? Do I have mod 3 constraints? So initially I have two numbers which are non-zero mod 3. If I... Should I just get rid of all the mod 3 stuff? I feel like these numbers are too round right now and that's what's causing the problems. What if I just like start my strategy instead of rather than trying to get numbers to be small, start by trying to get them to not all have like literally the same factors literally everywhere. Uh, there's so many common factors, I just can't, I feel like I can't move. But we've seen that if you have two numbers, you can mess with them, right? So, okay, let me start with this 2, 5. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to kill off all the... I want to try to kill off all the floating factors of 5. Let's start with 5. So I'm going to run the 2 into the 60 and get 4, 58. I'm going to run the 4 into the 30 and get 8, 26. I'm going to run the 8 into the 20 and get... Oh, let's run it into 30. And that gives me 16. Okay, that, that feels a lot better, right? Uh, now, I also mostly killed off the factors of 5. It's just this one, the 5 and the 20. But I can rectify that. Um, I take the 20 and smash it into the 26. I get 652. So this feels like it's a lot more vol like versatile. Um, so, sorry, 646. Like, now I don't feel like I'm being trapped by the random junk mod conditions. All right, cool. So one, let's make one ten. Let's get our first one. No, actually, no. We we made this mistake last time. We we don't want to have a one and sit on it because then we can't get twos. Um. I wonder if what I can do is like try to take the odd number and drag it around to make twos and then keep repeating. So if I have 5 and 16, um, they or orbit mod 21, is that right? If I put 5 and 16 in a box and shake, what happens? Do I get like... I get 220, right? If I if I take the well, I get one eventually. So 65 gives me 1011 gives me 120 1 comma 20, which gives me 2 comma should be 2 comma 19. Uh, right. So that's our first two. Now I'm going to take the 19 and the 22, and I'm going to smash them into each other. I'll get 338, and then. Six thirty-five, 
12, 29, 24, 17, uh, 7, 34. So we, we, we see if we get a 2, right, is the goal. 14, uh, big computation. Uh, 28, 13. Oh my god. Have I messed up yet? Twenty-six, fifteen. Eleven, thirty. Twenty-two, nineteen. Shoot, it went in a loop. No! Oh, also I messed up at some point because the sum is no longer seven, not ten. Uh... Okay, I messed up somewhere. Uh, uh. <sighs> Let's start over. <laughs> Let's start over, friends. <laughs> oh no. Honestly, okay, well, I was trying to clear the factors of two, but I wonder if that's even necessary. Like, I. No, that's necessary. We, we need to. I'm gonna run the 2 into the 20. I'm gonna run it into the other 20. I'm gonna run it into the 30. I'm going to run it into the... Here? No, I messed up again. No, why is this so difficult? What the heck? It's just changing two numbers at a freaking time. This is 22. Uh, 22. Okay, so now, now that the random factors that were hurting us are gone, we're going to put the odd number at the... We're going to take the odd number and then take the other numbers. So the other numbers are 16, 18, 22, 32, 44. That's where we are. Should we change stream title? Uh, yeah, actually that's a pretty good idea. Well, I don't know. I like this title because I'm really bad. Uh, <laughs> number 36 though. Uh, what should the stream title be, guys? Yeah, this is a rerun. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, so we're still okay, right? I haven't messed up. So I'm at 147. So this is the first part where we break the common factors that are making life hard. And then you take the 15 and you start hitting it. So I get 131, 2 comma 30. Or sorry, one comma thirty, two comma twenty nine. So we get our first two, and then we have a twenty nine. Then I'm gonna take the 20, 19, 29 with one of the others, and then try to. One hundred twenty is probably near the max. I can't get too small. Is there a reason I just can't get like a bunch of twos though? That's the strategy, is I want to keep running, because when I take the odd number and collide it, I seem to be mostly getting numbers of the shape 2. Uh, like, if I take 29 and 32 now, uh, I get 3, comma, 58. Oh, no, that's large. I, I want to go the other way. 7, comma, hmm, ah, jeez. Well, anyone object if I start using Python? Cook. 
Because this is so annoying. Oh my god. Please use Python. Alright. Okay. Uh -huh. So... Wait, what does my command work? Hey, hey, what? Oh no, it's because... Uh... Alright, uh, one moment. I, I need to change something in my Vim RC. Uh, or Vim... We're gonna put quotes here. Oh crap. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> and today's a great day. It's one of those days. Haha! -ha! Okay, so first we fix a bug in my Vim RC. I should make sure that bug isn't anywhere else. Uh, Dur. I think it's okay. Okay. Touch it later. Okay, anyways, uh, right, where was I? We we're gonna write use Python. So, I was trying to open a terminal emulator. Go, go. I hope we get to the JMO problems. It's not going well. <laughs> One, A, B. Okay. Uh, scene. Okay. I L A B not in scene. Uh, a, B equals abs, A minus B, 2 times min A, B, uh, if A less than B, A, B has B, A. I put that there too. So. Let's see if that works. So if I do run... You know, maybe it would help if I actually printed the return the output. <laughs> return scene. It would also help if I actually added the pair to scene. <laughs> I'm such a. This is why I didn't do competitive programming. I'm so bad at this kind of thing. Because no, I misspelled the pen. That's embarrassing. I'm a really good programmer. <laughs> Alright, we did it! Okay, also I flipped the order. Oh, I really wanted it to be the other way. Uh, 
Okay, cool. Now I can do the automate this stupid calculation. Um, also, wow. The, the text is just covering my face, isn't it? Uh, this seems like an oversight. Let's move this to... Let's move this to the top. How about that? How's this going to generalize to six numbers? I didn't say I was going to generalize to six numbers. I just needed to, um... Like, what I'm tr I'm trying to have a way that I can automate this calculation to see if I can get twos. Like, for example, now I know that I can get, uh, 2918 goes to... 245. So what I'm hoping for is I can just generate a stream of twos by doing the numbers in pairs. And this thing I'm a bobber will let me automate some of that tedious work. Yeah, so 45, 30, uh, 45 and 32, I can get a 2 and a 75. And if I run the 75 against the 22, do I get a 2? So now 2 and 95, and then the moment of truth where I hope 95, 44 works out. Oh, I hope it does. Is there a 2 in here? Yes, 2, 137. Alright, we did it, team! Yeah, because I was like, there's no, like, we we found the the one odd number obstruction. That's, that's, oh, wait. I need to change one of them to one now. Uh, all uh, right, yeah, that's not the final answer. <laughs> I want to see if I can get a one. Yeah, two, you can get one, comma, 138, yeah. Because it, it felt like there was no, no other obstruction, like, other than the parodies. I was like, you know, if I take an odd number and an even number and smash them against each other, um, the existence of two is equivalent to certain, like, orbits of powers of two working out. And... Well, they do. You know, it, it seems like it works most of the time, and you just have to, like, try one and then cross your fingers, right? How do you get the one? Two, 137 goes into one, 138. I use my calculator again. Yeah. <laughs> I just use the calculator. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool, we did it. Yeah, cool. So final, oh, I should state the final answer. Final answer is whatever, we scaled up by 120, so, uh, no, we didn't scale up by 120. What, what did we scale up by? So we scaled up by, what did we scale up by? Wait, what, what does this one come from? 10, we scaled up by 60, so, hence 138 over 60 before flipping, so it, the worst, 10, 20 thirds. <sighs> Final answer, 10, 20 thirds, is that correct? Did I mess anything up from here? No, 10, 20 thirds is definitely wrong, that's, that's, uh... That, that, that doesn't mix. No, 10, 20 thirds. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, do you, why do you hear nothing? Uh, try checking if you're muted. 